Okay, here's a quick video for my students who might be considering using some crimp connectors to join wires. Now, generally speaking, I'm going to advise uh, that if you're making a permanent connection, solder the joint, uh, maybe put some heat shrink on it if you need it insulated. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, then probably the one that I would go for, first of all, uh, if you're going to do a permanent connection, will be to use a butt splice connector like this. But a butt spice splice connector um, is a type of uh, crimp connector so we're going to use a crimping tool something like this and we're going to crimp down, it's basically just a set of pliers but specialised for the job and it's going to squeeze down and make a permanent connection with the two wires that are butted together so that's a butt splice uh, the alternative might be to use a bullet connector uh, this would then allow you to separate the two wires so you've got a male end, female end Male goes into the female, hence the name, and then you have the wires uh, crimped into each end. And I'm going to give a demo of that in a while. So, uh, yep, so you can use that if you want. That's quite nice. Uh, these are insulated. They also come in an uninsulated uh, form as well. But because it's uh, they're insulated, if you push them in together, uh, they're shrouded, so it shouldn't have a short. Uh, other types, uh, we've also got... Uh, these uh, these are what we would call spade connectors. Now I don't use these spade connectors very often so this is the only one I could find. You can see that uh, it's not in good condition so if I were actually intending on using one I'd, I'd get one that's nice and shiny, not this one. Um, but uh, yeah so this this one in my left hand here that's a that's a male one, this is female and so they push together like that. I'm not going to push them fully home because they're, they're quite stiff. Uh, as they should be really, because they should be nice and tight so they're not going to fall apart. Um, but you can see that when they're together uh, that would easily short out on something so if that is a concern uh, you can get this type which is uh, shrouded uh, so that then when it's pushed fully home that would then, uh, like, like so, that then reduces, I wouldn't say totally eliminates, but reduces the chance of it uh, shorting out on anything. And as I said earlier, they're pretty really damn tight to get apart. Okay so let's have a go at terminating some of these. So uh, like I say if you want to do a permanent connection uh, and you don't want to solder them then the butt splice connector is probably the go-to. Now if you have a look halfway down, although it's possibly difficult for you to see that it is actually halfway down, uh, halfway down there's like a little triangle so the wire is uh, from one side is only going to go through halfway. It's not going to poke all the way through. That's uh, to our advantage. So you're going to need some wire strippers and let's just strip these off. The thing to do is that you want um, slightly less than half of the butt splice in length. So let's go for about there and make sure that you don't cut off any of the strands so you haven't cut any of those. I like to twist, some people would say don't twist, they would say it introduces oils into it which is probably true but I like to twist anyway. And if you've uh, chosen, these come in all different sizes for different gauges of wires, if you've chosen the right si size uh, then it should be fairly snug but will go into there. Probably can't see the wires, maybe you can just about see the wires. I don't think I can actually, but that's now hitting up to that middle, that little triangle bit there. So now I've got this and I want to uh, clamp down on the left hand side because remember that's where the wire is. And then I give a tight squeeze, they're pretty, pretty tight you know, there. And so now that is mechanically fixed, that really is not coming out. Uh, one point to note is that actually with this wire it's, it's got quite a thick insulation on so it wouldn't go uh, down that hole in the middle but there might be some wires that would, you, you don't want any of the insulation to go into the mechanical fixing itself into the metal. Right so let's just strip off the other end, it's only a demo so I'm just going to make a loop of wire here. So once again I've stripped now, I don't know whether you notice, but uh, there is a tiny strand there. Yeah, so I haven't got my uh, cable strippers uh, adjusted correctly there because I normally use these ones on a, on a 
fine a gauge of wire so I'm not going to accept that as um, that's not acceptable don't want to lose a single strand so let's just do this again that I think that's pretty good in other words perfect good enough isn't good enough remember when we're doing electronics so now uh, that's going to go down into that hole that okay and then once again now sometimes what I do actually let me just show you this sometimes what I do I like to load this up first so you see hopefully you can see that uh, it's got to be squeezing down on the metal there's no point in squeezing down on this plastic bit on the end because that's not going to hold anything at all you've got to be squeezing down on the metal so make sure the jaws are going to squeeze down on that metal so sometimes I like to uh, put the uh, but, uh, the butt splice, splice connector, or any other splice connector in for that matter, in there first. And uh, once it's loaded, let's just push, move a little bit, there we go. Once it's loaded then uh, get it in. And once that's in now, Now that is uh, absolutely solid, that's not coming out. Okay, so that's the butt splice connector. I think I'll possibly uh, post another video just showing you these, but essentially it's the same thing. These are all crimp uh, connectors. Uh, these all happen to be red ones, by the way, I didn't point it out, but if you look at the jaws of my uh, crimping tool, red, blue, yellow, they come in different colours. They're colour coded, these are red. I use red. Okay, that's it.